Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to flash the X Elite Gamer ROM onto the Xperia Play. This will work if you've got a locked bootloader, so um, you don't have to worry about unlocking your bootloader. Um, this is Gingerbread 2.3.7. It's very stable. I've tried it. Um, all the games do work on this ROM. Like I says, it's the X Elite Gamer ROM. So I'm just going to show you what you'll need to do first. Let me just focus the camera. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download Flash Tool. Download the same version what I'm using, which is 0.7.1.0 for Windows. And then, once you download it, you should see a Flash Tool folder. Just go ahead and open that up. And look for the Drivers folder. There it is open that up and then select this here and then you can go ahead and install the flash tool drivers, the fast boot drivers and the Xperia Play drivers. Make sure you in install all three of those drivers. So remember that's the flash tool drivers, the fast boot drivers and also the Xperia Play drivers. If you don't install all three of those drivers, flash tool will not work. So once you've done all that and you've set up Flash Tool, you'll need to download the ROM, which is this here, XEGV 1.8. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. You'll also need to download the kernel. I'll leave a link to the kernel in the description down below. And also you'll need to download the Wi-Fi fix, the modules. I'll also leave a link to that in the description down below. Okay, now the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go into settings on your phone. And go to applications. Unknown sources make sure you tick the box at the top then select OK then development USB debugging tick the box select OK OK so now we're just gonna go ahead and route the phone so open up the flash tool Okay, so it's opened. Then connect your phone to the USB cable. Hold on, I'm just going to do that real quick. Okay, so connect your phone to the USB cable, which I'm just going to do. So as you can see, it's connected. So once your flash tool is set up properly, you should see all this information pop up when you connect your phone to the USB cable. All this information pop should pop up about, about your phone. So now we're just going to go ahead and route the phone. So this little padlock here, just click on that. And now it's going to route the phone. If your firmware fails to root, you'll need to flash the Enhanced 58 firmware and then go ahead and root it with the flash tool. I'll leave a link to the Enhanced 58 firmware in the description down below. Okay, so it's finished rooting. It says root should be available after reboot. As you can see, the phone's rebooting.
so now we're just gonna have a look for the super user app there it is super user so that means the phone has rooted okay the next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna open flash tool again and this folder x10 flasher lib open that up and drag the kernel into a blank space on there so there's the kernel okay Okay, so the next thing now is to put the ROM and the Wi-Fi modules onto a blank space on your SD card. So as you can see, I've got both of them already on there. Then you can close that down. Then open back up Flash Tool. Select this little flash icon here, then select fast boot mode, then select OK. Now select reboot into fast boot mode. If you get this error, don't worry about it, just select this, reboot into fast boot mode via ADB. And now your phone should go into fast boot mode. As you can see it says device connected into fast boot mode and on the top of your phone this light should be blue so now we're just going to go ahead and flash the kernel so select kernel to flash and remember we put the kernel in the x10 flasher lib folder earlier so there it is boot.image that's the kernel so we're just go, going to go ahead and um, flash that. As you can see, flashing selected kernel. And it says finish total time 2.516 seconds. So you can, you can go ahead and close down the flash tool now. Unplug your phone hit the power button so now keep pressing the back button as soon as you see the Sony Ericsson logo just keep pressing it and it should take you into recovery mode and just focus Now the volume rocker on the side, you're going to press that and go down to where it says White Factory Reset. And you're going to hit the search button. Then go down again to where it says Delete All User Data and hit the search button. Go down to where it says Wipe Cache Partition hit the search button select yes hit the search button go down to mounts and storage hit the search button and go down to format data and hit the search button and select yes hit the search button then you can go back and do one more factory reset so hit the search button go down to yes delete all da data user 
I'll use the data, sorry, hit the search button. And now go down to install zip from SD card, hit the search button. And go down to EGV 1.8.zip, that's the ROM we're going to flash. So hit the search button and then go down to yes install and hit the search button. So now we're just going to flash the ROM. So the ROM's finished flashing, so the phone's automatically going to reboot. Okay, so it's finished. Okay, so when you try to turn the Wi-Fi on, you're going to get an error. So what you'll need to do is to fix that. You'll need to go back into recovery. So reboot the phone. Keep pressing the back key. And use the volume rocker down button and go to install zip from SD card hit the search button go to choose zip from SD card hit the search button and then go down to where it says modules zip hit the search button and then go down to yes install modules dot zip hit the search button and this will fix the Wi-Fi so once you've flashed it just press the back button reboot options hit the search button reboot system now hit the search button
So as you can see the Wi-Fi is working now, it's turned on. So with this ROM, a lot of the bloatware is um, being removed, has been removed. So that gives you more internal memory. Let's just have a look and see how much internal memory there is. Uh, where is it? So you get 383 megabytes of internal storage. And because all the bloatware has been removed, it's not going to use up a lot of RAM. There will be more free RAM so the ROM will be a lot quicker and a lot smoother. So yeah, I highly recommend um, flashing this ROM. This is gingerbread 2.3.7. There it is, 2.3.7. So yeah, like I said, I highly recommend flashing this ROM. This is the X Elite Gamer ROM. It's really awesome. I've tried a lot of games on this ROM and they do work good, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, that's it for this tutorial video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Doses.